a friend and I were talking a few months back and they were asking me if I thought a Trinidadian could come to Tobago and win the um, THA election and become the chief sec of the THA. Now, I don't know that that could happen in maybe the next 10 to 20 years, but I'm not, say, I'm not saying never. Um, looking back in olden days, um, 1793 or 94 to be exact, there was a Jamaican-born Englishman who became the governor of Tobago. Now, of course, you could say die when Britain did run things, right? Um, but yeah, his name was George Point Ricketts. And he was born in on a Midgham, Jamaica plantation, right? His parents obviously owned the plantation, which he succeeded the, you know, his father to own the plantation and married a young woman by the name of Sophie Watts. Now, Sophie had a sister who bore the who bore a son who would become the second Earl of Liverpool and the Prime Minister of Great Britain. But um, Governor Points or Governor Ricketts, sorry, when he came to Tobago, rather, he kind of he came here in 1793. But it was just kind of really odd in terms of the kind of laws he he wanted to put in place. He actually kind of made things more confusing as to whether or not certain British laws applied. Thank you. To Tobago. This empty. Boy, carry this back and let him cut it. <laughs> yeah. So, um... So, yeah, so he, you know, made all these things. He was only here for a year before he was elevated to governor of Barbados because in those days, you know, everything kind of was route, rerouted to Barbados, at least in these lower islands, right? In the islands that were um, on the lower end of the archipelago. So he became governor, of, he was elevated to governor of Barbados and there he stayed until about 1800 when he got ill and resigned due to sickness and ill, poor health. But yeah, so one of the interesting proclamations that he did make while he was here was allowing American vessels to be able to dock and barter in goods um, that customarily only British vessels were allowed to barter in. So they were able to leave some um, goods here in exchange for Tobago rum and Tobago molasses. If you want more Tobago friendly content like this, you know what to do. Hit the follow.